Hello dear everyone. Welcome back here at La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Tonight I would like to share with you on how to make pancit bihon. <laughs> so I am going to add chicken breast and so I slice the chicken breast into tiny bits and so we are going to add some spices. What are the very basic ingredients that we have? So I have here chopped fresh garlic and then I have here my uh, red cooking onions, my chicken breast and then the vegetable that I'll be using are the following red peppers, um, broccoli, carrots and celery. So there should be uniformity in your slices when you slice your veggies and I'm going to have um, cabbage and this green onions that has to be garnished towards the end and here I have here my bihon so this is made of fine uh, rice noodles so I have here my boiling water so I will just cook that for three minutes so there are many different types of noodles in the market so this is more on Filipino type of uh, noodles so I based on manufacturer's guide on how to cook these noodles so you have to read it and so please do not overcook your noodles because you will forfeit its purpose what are the very basic um, enhancer or food flavoring enhancer that i have uh, so i am going to add um, extra virgin olive oil so it doesn't really matter what kind of oil you will be using to saute your spices so i'm going to add chicken powder broth here a little bit and a little bit of fish sauce or patties black pepper i love black pepper and then toyo or soya sauce and also some chili flakes hot chili flakes so here this is uh boiling water with our pancit but you can also Try to soak your pancit or your rice noodles into cold water or even room temperature water. So I will set that aside for now for only three minutes until that will become partly cooked. So we will start sauteing our veggies here. So first and foremost... I'm going to saute that using my red onions. I'm using medium heat. I'll have to turn that off. It's done. So after sauteing your red cooking onions you can use white cooking onions whatever available uh, availability in your pantry or in your refrigerator <laughs> and so i'll have to add my garlic so garlic has been added so we will try to check our pancit here there you go beautiful Okay, after which, lovely friends, I am going to add my um, chicken breast fillet. Then I'll have to season it with black pepper. Adding seasoning like black pepper and salt. It depends upon your taste buds as well. So I'm going to add my uh, chicken powder broth. So it's a combination of a little bit of soya sauce or toyo. But not too much. So we incorporate soya sauce or toyo and the chicken powder broth with patties 
or fish sauce a little bit only there you go and I'm going to add some uh, chili flakes hot chili flakes these are very optional so let this be cooked for at least three minutes until your chicken is done set that aside or you can cover it okay at the same time I have to uh, drain the noodles take out its water and set that aside for now so here's my noodles wonderful friends nice so remember do not overly cook your noodles so remember friends that different cooks different chef different nanas mothers aunts uncles they have their own different way of cooking pancit <laughs> or rice noodles i am just showing you the way i cook this food for my husband's supper and for my son's supper i'll be delivering this to their workplace they're working right now okay there you go beautiful so after which i am going to add all this wonderful colorful veggies that i do have so make sure that um, there is uniformity in slicing your veggies so that when it's done it cooks at the same time so now i am going to add a little bit of water just half a cup of water because i don't want my pansy to be very very dry i want my pansy to be moist okay so i added uh, half a cup of water i'm just eyeballing all my wonderful ingredients when i cook i do not really measure <laughs> unlike when i bake i have to measure it very well so that i can produce good output of my baked goodies here at la arnie's kitchen and food creations there's a lot of things there's a lot of foods that are very easy to follow very affordable in your pocket and very accessible at the supermarket as well there you go so i want my veggies to be crunchy after which i'll have to add my cabbage i shredded my cabbage and just let it be done for 40 seconds or even 45 seconds i don't want all my veggies to be overly cooked so give a good mix beautiful okay once this is done i'll have to add my entire package of my pancit bihon so this is 454 grams or one pound in total so i'll have to add that here and then mix it gradually so there you go wonderful friends so make sure that it's evenly mixed so that all the ingredients are well combined here are ricados or our sangkap so after that, I am going to add my, uh, or garnish my green onions and then turn off my flame or heat. So dear wonderful friends, this is done. So thank you very much for watching La Arnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Stay tuned for more cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen. So we cannot finish this one, so I'm going to give this to some of my friends at the Tim Hortons my lovely ladies my lady friends so i love you guys and thank you dagang kain salamat sa sunod na pod ngayon ha so ako nang pat yun i have to turn this off voila